Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I've got another Let's Play episode for you for Fueled by Insanity. So, let's see. Last time we left off. Ah, yes. Alright. Last time we left off. We kind of stumbled around at the arcade, you know, crashed into a couple things. Now we're back home, chatting with Darren and Ted. So, let's jump right back into it, shall we? I think this is where we left off. Okay, alright. Oh, I was right, that is where we left off. Okay, let's jump right back into it. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> Yo! Wake up. What? Wake up, Jeffrey. I opened my eyes, disoriented as I'm pulled out of my dream. Right. It was only a dream. Yo. I looked towards the door to see Darren standing there, arms crossed. I ordered breakfast. You hungry? Huh? I hear his words, but their meaning gets lost on me as I'm still trying to wrap my head around the dream I just had. I said I got food. Food? Yes. Burger. You. Eat. Oh. Uh, thanks? Darren stands there, staring at me as if expecting something from me. Never thought I'd see the day you didn't get all excited over food. It's only after he says that that I realize what's going on. Wait, you got me a burger? Why? To celebrate. Got my first job interview out of the way. I know you like burgers, so I got you one. Thanks. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but could I have a minute to myself? Sure thing. Come out whenever you're ready. Darren waves before leaving my room, closing the door behind him. Okay, now I kind of feel bad for asking him to leave. That dream, though. That was a... It was a weird experience. I still remember it so vividly. <sighs> Thinking about it, swimming in a straight line sounds like such a dumb thing. But it was still fun. I wonder if I'm going to have any more dreams like that. I get up off my bed and stretch my arms out above my head, feeling stiff after what I felt like after what felt like an eternity of sleep. I take Darren's advice from last night and open the bag of neatly folded clothes on my dresser, only to find that he bought me nothing but more solid green shirts, the same color as the one I'm wearing. Really, Darren? I chuckle to myself, not sure what I was expecting. From what I find in the other bag, it seems like he did the same thing for Ted. It's full of the same style of red shirts. I go ahead and change my shirt, casually tossing the old one to the floor. Hmm. I guess I should go and get food. We already, we already had some from the grocery store, but I may as well eat whatever Darren ordered. My stomach growls as I think that, and so I make up my mind and leave my room. I make my way into the living room to find Darren and Ted watching TV. Darren's leaning back in his recliner, and Ted's laying down on the couch. Good morning. That was fast. Yeah, I just needed a minute to think about things. Oh, what about? Just stuff. I want to eat. I'm hungry. Your food's right here on the table. I notice an unopened styrofoam container on the table, so I grab it and make my way over to the couch. Ted sits up to make room for me, his eyes glancing briefly toward me before returning back to the television. I sit down next to him, opening my container to find a small burger. Opening it up, I find that it's missing almost every ingredient. It's just dry meat on a bun. Hmm... I close the container, disappointed with the poor, poor state of my food. I was hoping for something at least somewhat decent to eat for breakfast. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'll eat later. You sure you're okay? Never seen you turn down food. I sigh and nod. I could tell him that the food sucks, but then I'd have to deal with a lecture about how I shouldn't waste food. I still will eat it, just not now. I lean back and look at the TV, not recognizing the show that's on. There's a bunny and a weasel that are arguing about something, but I can't make out anything beyond that. What are you guys watching? Good question. Huh? There was nothing else on, so Darren picked a random channel, and now we're watching whatever this is. It's bad, but there's nothing else on. Oh, I think they're finally about to say it. Say what? 
Darren shushes me and points at the screen, so I pay attention. I confess my love to you, Martha. I have always loved you, ever since the day after I was born. No, Mr. Johnson. I'm afraid I don't love you. I love Timothy. But Martha, he can never love you. He already has his eyes set on one thing and one thing alone. No, Mr. Johnson, don't say it so. I will still love him with all my heart. But Martha, he's in love with... Mr. Johnson turns towards the camera before beginning his next line. The new and improved baked potato fork now designed to be strong enough to withstand poking holes in any potato you choose to cook. Make it yours now for only twelve ninety nine, sold in a store near you. A moment of silence goes by as none of us know how to react to that plot twist until finally I speak up. The fuck kind of product placement was that? And what the hell's a baked fork, a baked potato fork? It's a fork you could use on a baked potato, obviously. But that had nothing to do with anything. I turn towards Ted to gauge his reaction, only to find him giggling hysterically. Uh, Ted? The ads in this show are so bad, and I love them. Huh, I guess. Ted's laughter stops when I don't give the reaction he was probably hoping for. You sure you're okay? For some reason, him asking that annoys me. I don't like having him and Darren asking me over and over, as if they're expecting me they so they're expecting the answer to be no. I'm fine. Okay, Jeffrey, you're not convincing anyone at this point. It's frustrating going from being really happy yesterday to being in a bad mood today. I don't want to be like this. I want to be enjoying this bad TV show too. It's because of that dream. I just had to be reminded of what happened to my friends. I've never told anyone either. I was afraid to. Fuck, I don't want to think about this. I tried so hard to forget about it. I can't even imagine how Sean or Marshall would react if they found out. For all they know, they just moved on with their lives. It's not like we hadn't had friends leave our circle before. Darren never seemed to question it. He didn't know them very well, as he only really started spending time with our friend group last year. Sometimes I just wish I told people what happened, but it's too late for that now. What would I even say? Oh, yeah, by the way, remember Parker and Caleb? One of them touched a glowy rock and then killed the other, probably. <sighs> like, that wouldn't go over terribly. I think he's spacing out again. Who's what? You. You keep spacing out. I what? Was he talking to me? Did I zone out and miss what he said? Ugh, things were fine until I started dreaming about this stuff again. Okay, maybe fine isn't the word, but at least I was able to focus on other things. Yeah, I don't think we're getting through to him. Wait, did I zone out again? Fuck. I'm, I'm listening. Are you? Y yeah Then what did I just say? I don't know. Uh-huh. I was saying my job interview went well, and Dad's giving me more allowance than I need each month. Oh, that's cool, I guess? I'll give you the same offer I gave to Ted. Not, huh? What offer? I'll give you $20 a week as long as you're putting in job applications and looking for work. You'll pay me to put in job applications? Yes. $20 a week isn't that much. I mean, he's still letting us live here for free, and he's buying food for us. I thought it was a nice offer. You don't have to take it, Jeffrey. You can stay broke if you want. That's not even enough to order food for two days of the week. I'm paying for your food. I know, but 20 is still kind of... Darren sighs, and I can tell he's not happy with my response. Ted, do you mind if I have a moment alone with Jeffrey? Uh, okay. Ted slowly gets up and makes his way out of the room, into our bedroom. Here comes the scolding. Look, I'm trying to help you here. I know. I'm going along with your weird habit of changing your name. I even let Sean know ahead of time. Oh. I know twenty dollars isn't the best, but I cannot but I can't afford to give you more than that. Not until I not until I get to find out if I have the job at least. If I'm giving both you and Ted twenty a week each, that's one hundred and sixty a month out of my pocket. 
Yeah, I know, but... Like I said, I'm trying to help you. More importantly, I'm trying to teach you to help yourself. I'm sorry. I'm probably not saying things right, I guess. I just... Everything sucks, you know? That's why I'm trying to help you make things not suck. If only you knew how bad things actually are. I want to thank him. I want to tell him that I appreciate him helping, but no words come out. Instead, I find myself staring at a pattern on the carpet, doing anything I can to keep my focus off of Darren. I'll give you time to wake up. I would like you to start putting in applications soon. I'm not going to force you to, but it would be a big help to both you and me if you did. Okay. This sucks. I want to tell him that yes, I will, but right now it's hard to focus on the future at all. All I want to do is be happy now and forget about everything. What's wrong with me? I'm ahead to the store. Got some stuff I gotta get. Feel free to use my computer to look up job sites and stuff. For some reason, him offering to let me use his computer, of all things, is what snaps me out of my bad mood. You will? Even though I could mess with your stuff? Yeah, I don't think you'd do that. I trust you. Oh, uh, thanks. That actually means a lot. Darren shrugs in response, casual as always. Doesn't... don't see a reason not to. Unfortunately, him saying that only reminds me of what I'm hiding. I can think of a couple reasons. Well, I'm ahead off now. See you in a bit. Okay, bye. Darren gives a quick wave before heading out the door, and I wave back. Now that Darren's gone, I'm left with a decision. Do I start on job applications now, or check in on Ted? Uh, I'm gonna check on Ted. I figure I may as well check on Ted. He's probably wondering how Darren's talk with me went. First things first, however. I need food. I look back to the table where my uneaten breakfast sits in its container, and I decide I may as well eat it. I'm not thrilled at all about it, but it's still free food, and I'd hate to waste it, no matter how bad it may be. Time to eat burger. After finishing my breakfast, I'll go back to my room to check on Ted. And that is where I am going to leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!